Is this good, guys? I can't really tell. Glasses off, maybe? Ready? Go! What are you doing? posted on my Instagram and my snapchat just a little bit ago any questions you guys had there's a few questions oh you're gonna copy me look he's going like this okay sorry guys he looks a little crazy he's all amped up and he's got back from daycare that's why he looks crazy but anyways I asked you guys if you had any questions and there were a few even if there was one I still would have made a whole video on it so I'm gonna answer your questions and as honestly as possible Okay. First question. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Okay, you're a freaking idiot. But I don't have a freaking answer for that. I know you're supposed to say it fast. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck chuck chuck wood? I don't know if I even said that right. But yeah, I don't really have an answer for that. You're funny. It's one of my friends. Haha. -ha. You got me, bro. I got me. Second question. What does they do while you have to clean up or do homework? So honestly, it kind of varies for this one. For the most part, I will usually like during the school year and stuff, I put him to bed and then I do my homework or I clean. Honestly, every night I usually let him destroy the house and then once he goes to bed, that's when I clean. I pack lunches. I get my outfit out for the day. Um, his outfit is usually already ready. And if it were homework and it was like a weekend or something, I honestly usually just do my homework right in front of him. And he is really good at being like occupied by himself as you guys can clearly see you're silly yeah for the most part he's really good like if you just give him some tractor toys or tractor toys tractor toys yeah um or if you even let him color or something like he is fine he's by himself and he can do that for honestly hours like he's pretty good about it and then when he gets hungry or something he'll be like eat 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 so besides that, yeah, he's really pretty much good. And then, like I said, I would put him to bed and then I'll do homework till like two, three in the morning or I'll clean. I always clean once he goes to bed. This one. So what did you do when you found out you were pregnant? Honestly, like, like physically, what did I do? I literally went to be nice. He's amped up because he's tired. Sorry guys. So anyways, like I was saying, physically the first thing I did is I drove myself to Rite Aid. I try not to think too much of it. I was like, oh, maybe the doctor's wrong. Like no big deal. So I drove myself to Rite Aid, Rite Aid. I bought a test. I went home. I had to pee. It was the morning time anyways. I peed. It said I was pregnant. I was like, oh, like the doctor was, they were right. They were right. So then, right after that, I called my mom, and I was just like, hey mom, like, how are you? And she's like, hey, what's up, what's going on? And I was just like, all right, don't be mad at me, you're gonna be really upset with me. And she's just like, what? And I was like, I don't wanna upset you or ruin your day, like, I'm sorry I'm telling you so early in the day, but I'm pregnant. So I called my mom first, and then later on, I ended up calling my um, son's father's sister, and then I called him. So, yeah, honestly, there's like a million things going through my mind. I was like, oh my God, there's an actual child growing inside of me. It was like a, such a different like view. Like I always said when I wasn't pregnant, like if I were to get pregnant, I would have an abortion. And I feel like that's so ignorant of me to just say like when I've never experienced it. But um, 
yeah, I was just like, there's no way I'm going to be able to do that when I'm all the way in Florida by myself. My family just can't fly out because of my issues, you know? So, yeah, it was kind of a lot, but that was honestly the first thing I did. I did not believe the doctor. And I remember when they called me back, they're like, um telling me they'd like have to schedule appointments and stuff and I was just like oh my god like what is going on but at the time when they first found out I was pregnant my levels were super low so they thought that I might have been miscarrying so I had to schedule an appointment to go in and that so during that time it was kind of like am I pregnant am I miscarrying because I had spotting but I guess I like it, it was obviously it was fine it was like everything's good he's here so so yeah, I like had a few days to kind of be like, am I or am I not? Like, what's going on? And then once I found out, like, co confirmed that I was three months. Yeah, there he goes. But once I actually found out that I was, I was just like, okay, well, I'm keeping him. There's absolutely no way I'm this far along and I'm not keeping him. That's just my opinion. I did think about adoption. I thought about... Really? You just had a snack. So, I, and I did weigh out, like, my pros and cons, but in my heart, I always knew, like, there I wasn't getting an abortion, like, or giving him away. So, it was just, like, that's just, that's just what I wanted to do. But, yeah. Okay, not a question, just saying you're the best mom ever. Oh, my God, I love you so much, and I miss you so much, and I was literally so happy when I saw you at Sunsets the other day, or not the other day, a few weeks ago. But I love you, thank you. It literally means so much to me when people see that because I feel like I know, obviously I know I'm a good mom, but sometimes like you don't even like give yourself the credit. Like you're just so busy. You're always like doing stuff. You're always worrying about this little baby that you just don't really take the time to like sit down and be like, oh my God, like look how good I am doing. So I really, really appreciate when you guys tell me that. I love you. I love you so much. <laughs> Messing up my curtains over here. Okay, how how tough is it to stick to a routine for dinner, bedtime, etc.? Honestly, it's not too bad. Um, it kind of worked well because like my old hours, like they were set hours, like 8:45, 5:45. So then I would we would go home immediately. I would just start cooking dinner and everything. Um, bedtime has always been super super easy like i honestly used to put him down around 6 37 super fine like he's always loved bedtime but recently i think he's going through that like two year regression so he's like freaks out at bedtime he doesn't want to go to sleep and he's like screaming m-a-m-a b-e-d i don't want to say because he's right here i don't want to even give him the thought because it's kind of getting late but he like freaks out he hates it apparently he's fine at his dad's i don't really know like with me all i know it's been like really really tough so there hasn't been like a set bedtime and now that we have a new house all the kids like are a little bit older they play in he just farted <laughs> really farted. yeah you farted anyways like i'm really big on routine routine is super important because like it makes me go it makes him go well but like I said, it's been a little different with the new house and his whole two-year regression thing. With my new job, it works okay. Like, it doesn't affect it at all because my hours are usually like 9 to 1 or something yeah, super short. Funny. So I always get him before daycare ends. And yeah, not too tough though. It's not too tough. It's just recently him falling asleep has been like a little difficult. Are you hot? Do you want to take this off? No. Okay. And? But yeah. Also, it's been a lot brighter, too. It doesn't get dark till like, 8.30, 8.45. So, sometimes I keep him up till then. And it's summer. So, like, obviously, there's, like, occasions and stuff for summer. People do stuff. So, if we go out, like, tonight, we're going out to see family. We're doing dinner. So, that, like, obviously, that's an exception. I always like to say just as long as he's in bed by 9 for me. Like, that's, like, the very, very latest for me. Are you and Zade's dad friends at all or just strictly co-parents? So this one's a little difficult to answer, but I'm going to try the best that I can. I always try to remind myself, like, there's always two sides to the story. Like, there's always two sides, two opinions, and then there's facts. So, from my side, I would say we're strictly co-parents right now. Um, I do try super hard to be friendly. Um, I feel like that's only best for Zade. 
I grew up with parents that like were not like friendly not like throwing anyone under the bus or anything but I grew up with parents that were completely separate everything was separate like obviously there's it's there's more to it but I would think I would much rather prefer growing up with parents that could be friends and I only say that because it's like at the end of the day like no matter what no matter the bad anyone has done a child mother and father like that child no matter what like you could do the worst thing in the world and a child's always gonna look at you like that is still my mom that is still my dad so I feel like it's just what's best like I would absolutely love if like me dad and they could go get breakfast sometimes just us or if we could go to the park sometimes or the aquarium or if we could do birthdays together like the one day a year that we can get everyone together but it's super hard because like I don't want to say anything start anything but I'm gonna try to say the best that I can when it's just me and him and it's just like we're in person we're talking we're fine and we'll be on the same page about stuff but then it's like so let me just give you an example so people aren't like assuming everything but like an example last year was Zade's first birthday I really wanted Zade's first birthday I wanted everyone to be together like it doesn't matter at the end of the day it doesn't matter what they've done to me it doesn't matter what I've done to them because it's about Zade there was a birthday I wanted to do it all together I talked to dad no one else was around and he was on the same page he was like honestly like that I'm fine with that that sounds fine to me we can talk about where blah 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 but the only thing is is someone might not like that so it's like things like that that it really frustrates me so to answer your question right now we're strictly co-parents um, I've always said um, I wish that we could be friends I would love to be like on a friendly thing. I don't want Zay growing up thinking so separately of everyone. Um, but yeah, I'm. I, I. That's my opinion. Like I said, don't want to say too much. Obviously, his dad isn't here to defend himself, and I'm not here to like go on and on about it. But yeah, I would like to, but I just it's not in the image right now. And yeah, sorry. I have another question. That's right, Mommy turn. Okay, Mommy's turn. So, last question is, are you and Hank together still? So, I actually get this a lot, too. Yes, we are. So, there's been, like, obviously it's super hard with distance because he's, like, 2,000 miles away, over 2,000 miles away. He's across the country. He's a football coach, so it's, like, super hard to like actually talk and facetime and we are on completely different time zones like he's three hours behind me so like i'm leaving work it's 10 a.m for him so it's kind of difficult and obviously football season is, is approaching we are still together he was just home for about two and a half weeks from like in june yeah in june um but I feel like since I've, like recently, I've been like going out to the bars and hanging out with my friends and I feel like people see that and they're like, oh, like I wonder if she's still dating Hank. My thing is like before I never went out without him and when he was home, I would just stay home all day and it was like driving me insane. Like I can't, I can't just sit at home all day and like see all my friends out it's summer and not do anything so even he has always said like go out go be with your friends go hang out with your friends like distract yourself like i'm busy i'm not here i don't want you sitting in the house driving yourself crazy all the time so we are still dating i do obviously still go out i have all my friends blah 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 I'm done. mama's turn I'm done. mama's turn oh my god I honestly didn't think this video was going to be really long. I was like, oh my god, there's only like 10 questions. Like, this video is going to be short as heck. But those are all the questions. Thank you guys so much for all the questions. I love answering questions because I feel like I get them often and then I answer them sometimes personally to people. But it's honestly better just like anyone has questions, ask me. I don't care how personal they are. Clearly, I just got super personal with you guys. So... 
I enjoy answering them and I am been working on some stuff with like myself, the whole moves, blah, blah. So I haven't been uploading as much as I would like to. I'm trying, I'm trying my best right now with the new job and everything. Get it's just been a lot right now. Mommy turn. Okay, mama's turn. But anyways, mama I hope you, you wanna do, wanna say bye to everyone? Bye to the channel? Listen. Say bye. So uh, we will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell button to get notified whenever we post a new video. You want to stay tuned. There's only more coming, I promise you guys. Okay, he wants me to draw. Hold on. Look at, say cheese to the camera. No, look at the camera. Say cheese. Cheese. What's the fuck? What's the fuck? What did you just say? What the fuck? Zay, no, don't say that. That's not nice. Fuck. Oh my god. Guys, I read he had oh my god, I can't believe he just nonchalantly said that. Mommy turn. I've been really Mommy watching turn. how I talk Mommy with like turn. around him because Mommy of this. Turn. I have not heard him say that since we're in Norway in California. In Mommy California. Turn. That was in March. Oh my god. And the thing is, like, I know you're supposed to be like, no, like, don't say that. But I notice, like, when he says things that aren't nice or, like, or, like, not good to say, if you kind of ignore it more, then he kind of just will say it and, like, keep going. But when you're like, oh my god, oh my god, what'd you just say? Like, don't say that. Or you're like, no, no, no. Then he, he just is like, no, no and he like mocks you so when you kind of just ignore it like brush it off a little bit but i honestly just am in shock that he just said that say bye channel bye, say see you soon oh no. okay mama hang up